Yeah, you just. <laughs> I don't know, man. I got, no, I got nothing for you, man. <laughs> I, I got no help in you, buddy. <sighs> a little bit of a slower episode. You don't have shit popping up on the screen. And a couple tired boys. A couple tired boys. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm tired. Tell me about it. You gotta do something with your schedule, man. Brother, what does that even mean? You're gonna run up flights of stairs. Mm hmm. And then after, you're gonna do a shoot. Yeah. And then after the shoot, you're gonna go to the gym for two hours. Yeah. And I haven't seen you drink any coffee or pre workout. You have a pre workout here? Yeah, pre workout here. Oh, does no. that entice you? No. <clears throat> I was going to get a coffee, but there's no uh, there's no lactard milk here. So. Lactard milk. <laughs> so I, I would uh, probably poop. So How do you how do you feel after all that? The running? Yeah. Oh, there's several points where I thought I was dying. Gen- yeah. Genuinely, no, I was like, I think that's death. Like right in the, right in the front door. <laughs> He's knocking. Yeah, and I was like... Ready nah. to take you away. Yeah. But that yeah, uh, no, was good. It was... Before we did this, or before we started shooting, we did, what was it? It was 100 steps, 10 times with uh, workouts mixed in, right? Yeah, you would do like tricep dips or push ups. That's top. what it was called. Tricep dips, yeah. Yeah, I, I was struggling trying to ask yeah. you how to show me how to do that one. Yeah, tricep dips. Tricep dips. Yeah. Got it. Or, and then squats at the bottom. And then squats, yeah. Squats, me and Peter were talking about it. Squats feel stupid without weight on it. Yeah. <laughs> we've we've yeah. now yeah, no officially yeah. decided that it doesn't <laughs> feel normal. Because yeah, you guys are used to doing it with weight. Yeah. So it's, That's a it's, good sign. It's very weird. That means you're getting a bit better. Yeah. It was, um, yeah, you're almost like anticipating getting pushed down by weight. But. Well, halfway through those, I had to pretend like I had the bar on me. I'm like, I'm pretty shit at squats. Like, form-wise, I don't know how to do it properly. And we were doing it on the side of a running trail. Oh, it was, so and it was, was like, a fucking mountain anyway. Yeah, There's no yeah. flat part of the fucking trail. No, so I was, like, billy going it, trying to, like, angle myself properly so I can get a proper... Yeah. Yeah, that was that was messed up. Yeah. That was good, though. I feel good. I feel good. I feel tired. Yeah. This is going to be yeah, a tired boy episode. I'm gonna, yeah. It's going to be a full scoop of pre-workout at the gym today. Yeah, at 9 o'clock at night. Yeah tough call it's gonna be a tough call but i'm gonna have to this one's got no notes this episode jesus so this is like at, right off the dome we're going crazy today huh i'm kind of like scrambling to figure out I'm trying to think if I've, if I've seen anything fucking stupid these past couple times <sighs> yeah i don't think i have i well okay here we go i went to vancouver again yes i fucking forgot about that let's <laughs> go <laughs> I went to Vancouver on Monday, Tuesday. I went and saw the Black Keys in concert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. a fucking sick concert. Yeah. Super cool. We had, like, floor seats. Mm-hmm. And uh, the group, the people beside us, like, you weren't, we weren't, like, crushed in whatsoever. Oh, there was There was room to move around. Nice. And then halfway through the concert, the two people sitting beside me on my right, mm-hmm. I had my buddy on my left, they got up and left. So I had, like three rows of or three chairs open just to like move around and jive. You're crazy i hate that i said drive yeah you said it though um <sighs> do you think was there like do you think they ever get tired of like people being like huh, there's no gold on the ceiling here <laughs> i don't think-, think anyone's ever said that to them why <laughs> i don't you <laughs> messaged me that yeah i feel like that's the first thing i didn't know what to say <laughs> brother it's the first thing you think of you're like well or kinda, well you're kind of black yeah <laughs> <laughs> no nah. i feel like those two guys yeah those two guys from akron ohio oh shout out lebron too yeah same place yeah they probably uh they don't get those types of questions I don't know, man. That would be the first and only thing I think I'd ask them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it'd probably be the only thing that you're allowed to ever yeah, and ask. Be like, mm, get the fuck get out of the here. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. That being said, they play Gold in the Ceiling. Yeah. So cool. Such a I good think song. They, I really think they are bored of all the radio hits like Lonely Boy and Gold on the Ceiling because they, they kind of scream through those songs. Really? Like they played them pretty quick. 
I don't know if they like if it was like 1.25 times speed, but yeah, they got through those quick, and then they did a bunch of uh, like songs from their newer album. They did they released like three albums before COVID or during COVID. Really? Yeah, that's pretty crazy. So they went on like this tour was their like three album tour, and they like just amalgamated everything into one. Jesus, did a nice two hour set. Fuck. Did the standard encore where they waited like five minutes? Everyone yeah. was like freaking the fuck out. Yeah. One more song. You gotta edge the audience, song. brother. One more. Dude, there was this group. There's these two. There's a couple beside me who came in after the couple left. Mm-hmm. And they were. I, I don't think they had a home. And I'm not. I don't mean like homeless, but I mean like voluntarily just. Oh, like they're like some van people there? Yeah, some van people. Because the guy was wearing people, like. But like van. Yeah, yeah, they were in a van. <laughs> That being said, never mind. Okay. <laughs> um, right. Yeah, they they had like, well, there was one girl in the couple, and then there was a guy, but the guy kept like brushing up against me, and he had like super long blonde hair, and I never saw his face. Yeah. I was like, why does she keep bumping into me? Why does this like, bitch keep, get like, away from me, Yeah. Bro. I'm like, like shouldering her off. Like, get off me. Get out of here. And then he turns around, and it's it's a guy who's like five foot four. And you're like, and I was like, oh, oh, okay. And his beard, he looked like the quintessential hippie. Ugh. Beard all the way down, like scraggly beard. Like like if Shaggy from Scooby the Doo. Yeah. I, mean, I just said Scooby the Doo. <laughs> Shaggy from Scooby Doo uh, had long, long ass hair, but that mm. still had scraggly That's ass rough. beard. Yeah. So they were they were brushing up on me pretty much the entire night until uh, the concert was over, and right. they were they were like, "Do you ever remember? Did you see that video? It was called it was like entitled You, and it was um, it was about this couple that like meet each other at a Whole Foods, and it's it's gonna be one of the most cringeworthy things ever. They ended up actually taking the video down because Cody Ko and Noel Miller. Uh, made a video like reacting. Like, did you ever watch like the That's Cringe series? No. So they made a video on it, clowned them to eternity. Naturally. So then they took the video down. But the only way to see the video is through their reaction video. Damn. Um, doesn't really make a whole lot of sense since you haven't seen the video, but it's it's that couple. Okay. It was standing beside me. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Perfect. 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 Um, yeah, that's ass. Yeah, don't be cringy in fucking public. Period. 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 <laughs> Dude, apparently, um, I don't know. I, you were talking about hippies, and it reminded me of it. Not that he's a hippie at all, but um, apparently, the Liver King was on this this podcast that I watch. Yeah. And uh, apparently, that man doesn't smell bad, which is very surprising. What do you mean? Do you think he doesn't shower? He's like a primal kid, right? Like he's super like ancestors like you know what I yeah mean? and yeah. he's like always just sweaty and you're like what are you doing but apparently he doesn't smell doesn't bad. smell doesn't i smell mean bad I, there's a bunch of people that are like that yeah that just don't give off a musk yeah i have the weirdest this is probably the weirdest thing i've ever said and like ever disclosed okay but when i have like a night like a genuine sweat yeah like a genuine like like a fucking basketball game sweat yeah yeah it smells so strongly of weed of weed. Yeah. Doesn't make any fucking sense. When's that time you smoked? Six, Good question. Six years? Maybe. And it was once. So. It it doesn't make any fucking sense, but it's so legitimately, that's the only thing that could be. Really? Yeah. And it just reeks of weed? Yeah. Does anyone smoke in your house? No. That was actually, that was like the intro to like me, um... Like, talking about drugs with my parents. Because they were like... Okay, we got to get this figured out. Yeah, and I was like... Are you smoking? I was like, no. no. I was like, I swear to shit. Like, it, no. What the fuck? Super weird. You could even ask Peter about it. It's a real thing. And it just reeks of weed. It's just weed. Oh, dude, that sucks. It's like low-key kind of cool, though. Because then at least you're not like... Like, if you're around the right kind of people, it's not like, fuck, you stink. You know what I mean? It's like, well, at least you kind of smell like weed, and that's kind of whatever. <laughs> so your superpower is that when you're, when, when you're with the right group of people, oh, yeah. your sweat I doesn't in. smell that bad. Yeah, I can sweat all day. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty tight. I'm super hero, man. No, it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's, that's me. That's the weirdest thing about me, I think. 
that's the weirdest thing about you don't say that like that <laughs> i it's up there it's got to be up there reeking of weed but not actually smoking with it mm -hmm. it's like getting in trouble for drinking and driving when you're the dd but you didn't drink at all it's like no everybody else everyone in here is else is here this is all the alcohol you smell yeah is these motherfuckers yeah these guys drop beers in my car yeah and now I'm the one getting in you trouble. Could, you could do this with the breathalyzer in the air, <laughs> and you could, and, and I'd be fucking dead. But it's not me. Really? Yeah. yeah. S sweating weed. I knew a guy who would sweat. Um, his sweat was acidic, so all of his like Xbox controllers, everything was just like melted. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know what it was about him. He just produced produced acidic sweat. That's way more superpower -y than mine. Yeah, but it's like a super negative. Yeah, he's a villain for sure. Oh, I, yeah, but that's his villain arc. <laughs> yeah, that was a fucking Jesus. Yeah, that's weird. That is yeah. So what did your parents say? Oh, they were, well, my mom was like super. Shout out my mom. She said hi to you by the way. Today. Did she? But hi. Yeah. Um. But uh, no, she she didn't give a shit, and my the only person who really cared was my fucking stepmom. But so, fuck out fuck of here. Out. Yeah. <laughs> but um, <laughs> nah. that was it. It was it was just like a weird like they just it took a while for them to be like for real, and I'm like yes, yeah, I don't actually. Smoke. I literally no, I just I have no interest in it. So that's it's just what it is. But yeah, my parents are pretty pretty decent about it mm -hmm. i like i when i was in high school i worked two jobs and then did high school and then had a university courses on top of that because i was just a psycho I'd fucking sweat yeah and yeah there'd be a couple times where i would like go out for a party and I'd come back and i it, it took a while throughout high school but finally i think near the end of graduation i'd smoked weed and i came home and i was like hey by the way I smoked weed. <laughs> kind of like a fucking logic yeah, like does his fucking... <laughs> like you're like fucking pumped about it. <laughs> yeah, like I did it. Yeah. It was all right. Yeah. I am not going to become a stoner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I smoked out of like... I never did the like the the apple bong or like the plastic water bottle bong. Or like the Coke can bong? Coke can bong. Yeah, those are... <laughs> those are... I can't say like I ever wanted to try those. <laughs> Definitely don't do the Coke one, like the Coke can one. Yeah, it was aluminum poison. Yeah, when Fuck someone told me about that, I'm like, it's so, not going to be the smoking that kills you. Yeah. It's going to be the, <laughs> the heating up carcinogenics yeah. inside the can. Yeah. It's the low key cancer <laughs> that you're smoking. Um, At least you got high, though. Yeah. Fuck yeah, brother. <laughs> when in doubt, smoke it out or whatever. I don't smoke know. it out or whatever. Yeah. No, I never did any of that shit. I saw a dude one time, no shit, uh, put a, he put a little. Put a little bud in the in the back of his fucking hand and let it smoke it out of his fucking hand. I was yeah. like, Jesus, that's fucked. I was like, you're fucked. Man. What? You just used like he literally like pinched it and then just fucking lit it and went. And I was like, you're a fucking psycho. Was that here? Uh, yeah, yeah. It was like in the squam. I can't remember who it was, but yeah, I was at a party. Yeah, like, oh, no, I was, I was at a fuck. party. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck are we doing? Uh, I guarantee somebody has a pipe, brother. Like you don't. You, yeah, know, you can just ask anyone. Please, everybody's here. Use a fucking. Use a uh, a turkey baster. Yeah, brother, use anything but your fucking mitts, brother. Fucking mitts. So ass. Uh, yeah, no, I never did the, the high school engineering for that. No. Like I said, I was working all the time. Mm -hmm. it, I, like, I worked so much, and, like, I worked A&W, I worked Best Buy, I did all these just shitty jobs. And I'm going to be honest, there are times where I'm thinking, like, damn. If I could go and do one shift, drive through to A&W again, that would be so much fun. Dude, we've had, uh, there's so many people that I work with who have worked at McDonald's. Yeah. Um, and we've had many discussions about just like everybody having one day off, like everybody yeah. just like having like cycling one day off and then all just going and fucking shitting on a McDonald's. Like, yeah. Just one McDonald's shift yeah. a week. It would be fucking hilarious. You get like actual trained like line cooks to just like shit fuck like a whole <laughs> McDonald's thing. Like what the fuck do you want? Give me it all. Yeah, go come ahead. On, let's go. Yeah, please. I can do every single thing. All here. of this in two seconds. Please go. Please go. Yeah. Yeah. The, the amount of times I had like these crazy ass customers that were coming in and ordering food on the drive-through. Yeah. 
and just like we would have people that come in stone all the time and i would just serve them up like crazy senses like my buddies and i we would we would talk super fast on the radio <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> saw, man they'd be like yeah can i order uh try to break an uncle burger and like a chubby chicken burger, burger. Yeah. and you're like yeah hold on and then you fly <laughs> through it <laughs> <laughs> and they're like whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, Wait, yeah, yeah. what was the first thing like i don't know you said the you first said, thing you said it man <laughs> this is your order yeah jesus or or like someone getting multiple orders and you just like start mixing things over the orders and everyone gets confused just absolutely just having a blast <laughs> a lot of the times we would do we would have we would have Everyone would be wearing a headset. Mm -hmm. So when someone orders, everybody hears it. Everyone hears it, but everyone can also talk. There's two buttons. There's one for the drive through and then one for the communication across all headsets. Oh, okay. So when someone's on a when someone's on an order and they're like the order's like two orders and it's it's got like eighteen items on it. <laughs> and then like, one beep. person comes on, and you're like, Yeah, I had an extra cheddar bacon off the person's like <laughs> the person's like the person who's working drive through is like, Sorry, was that an extra cheddar bacon uncle? <laughs> the guy's like, No, I I didn't, didn't say want anything. That. <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want that at all. <laughs> but that's or fucked. you'd be like making the, just like the classic moaning sounds. <laughs> well, naturally, <laughs> when anybody's trying to do anything, you're just pass the weed, <laughs> and you're like, oh, what the <laughs> fuck are we doing? <laughs> yeah, I used to hate those <laughs> high school. Just, yeah, just, oh, no one could ever hear. Dude, I don't know if I don't know if we truly like finished the story that fucking Peter was telling us yesterday. About the, our drive through experience at A&W? No, no, I, I heard a little bit of Dude, it. Dude. Go, so, go through it again. So we like, we pulled... It, okay, before we get into the fucking drive through there's, there's a fucking full, like, fucking 10-point deer walking across the fucking road. Yeah. And we're like, oh, shit. So we slow down. And there's cars coming in, on, oncoming. So Peter's, like, flashing lights and fucking whatever. This guy doesn't fucking get the hint. And he's, like, he's been flashing for a, a while. And then fucking this guy's like still going, he's like just cooking down this road. So Peter just like lays on the fucking horn, just gives him all of it. And this deer just prances right in front of this fucking car and like screech, like barely fucking, barely doesn't even hit this fucking deer. And then this dude just like laughs it off. Like he didn't just almost fucking <laughs> die because he would have got dusted by this fucking deer. It wouldn't have even been a fucking fun time. And then so that happened, and then we immediately turn into the fucking AW drive thru and we're like pulling in, and we get up to order, and we hear an air compressor start going off. And we're like, what the fuck? Or like a little generator go off, and we're like, oh, okay, whatever. There's a dude with a fucking pressure washer right next to the speaker of the drive thru, and he's just. What can only be described as fucking clearing the hose. He's not spraying anything. He's literally just like aiming it at the ground and just letting it rip. I'm like, what the fuck are we doing? So Peter, <laughs> Peter, Peter decides that he's like, he's like, all right, well, I got to talk loud now, obviously. Talking loud to the thing. And then immediately like, in the middle of him talking, just stares at the fucking dude and is screaming his order. It was so fucking mangled. Such a shit day in a squamont, bro. So dumb. Nobody knows how to do anything. Oh, you're looking at Donald. Yeah, and he's just like, Oh, yeah, can ah. I actually get a... <laughs> 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 yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, what? This is so brutal, dude. <laughs> yeah, no spatial awareness no, whatsoever. Uh, dude, Situational like, literally, awareness. Literally, dude, just get a grip. <laughs> was so he looking stupid. at Peter? Dude, no. He was in his, <laughs> he was in his whole vibe. Bro. Just, just, man, well, he's standing right beside the machine, so ain't no way he's going to be hearing Peter yell. Yeah, exactly. That's so funny. Was that, like, how far away was the compressor? And this was, like, Esquimalt McDonald's, right? Oh, no, this was, like, the A&W and Esquimalt. Oh, like, yeah, but, yeah like, A&W. There was literally, like, fucking maybe 10 feet away from the fucking speaker. <laughs> And the, like the compressor was fucking right next to the speaker, anyway. So it's just fucking blasting, and Peter's just raging. This is so stupid. Yeah, so that's why you gotta have like small projectiles in your car. So you just like wing yeah, shit oh, at them. Brother. We should pick up like a corner and yeah. dome, a quarter, and then just dome them in the head. Have this quart of oil, you fucking idiot. Yeah. Just heave it at yeah, Peter's got the quart of oil <laughs> and the oatmeal in the back. <laughs> yeah, I want some oats, fucker. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Roll your shit. Yeah, it hits his head and just goes... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. Yeah, drive stories are funny. Yeah. Dude, I don't know why I just thought about this, but 
I um I recently called somebody a dork wizard. I'm not too proud about it, but it was the the perfect definition of what that kid was. A dork wizard. Yeah, like he was like such a goober. And the the first thing that came to my mind was like, ah, kid's a fucking dork wizard, bro. Like just straight up, like it was the only thing that made sense. An ugly to me. poor. Yeah, literally, just <laughs> an ugly poor dork wizard. <laughs> so stupid. He wasn't even doing anything bad. He was just like putzing around. Who was this guy? He was one of the hosts at Nelly. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't I don't even know him, so he wouldn't he wouldn't even watch she, this. But, shit on another yeah, employee. I, just, I called him a dork wizard. Dork and then I think wizard. I said I think I said that I would rock his shit. <laughs> I don't know why I was so to his mad. face? No, I was, I was saying it to my buddy. But <laughs> I was like, look at that fucking dork wizard. <laughs> Makes me sound like such a bully. But yeah. He was man, doing he was, I don't know, he's probably doing stupid shit. I can't remember. It's like the fucking same energy as <laughs> I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say, <laughs> I don't care that you broke your Literally, elbow. Bro. Dork like, wizard. Yeah. So when like, you get too pissed off and you just throw two words oh, together that don't like roll off the tongue ever. that well, like the kid you were talking about earlier said, "ugly, ugly poor." Ugly poor. You're in a Call you're of Duty ugly chat. poor. <laughs> yeah, like yeah in a, ugly in poor. A game lobby group <laughs> okay, chat. Dude, you 13 year old. <laughs> yeah, dude, fucking play Modern Warfare two. Yeah. You would get so much different shit. People oh, would dude. be people would be sending photos of your house to you. Because you just couldn't hit a like a trick shot. Yeah, it'd just be IP search your house. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Oh, Sand. this is your mom, Sandy. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, what? I've already sent her a message. You're like, no, <laughs> no, 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 mom. <laughs> Fucking Ryan Shield. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan Shield. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Like, yeah. Man. I get the Fortnite kids and they're like, oh, oh, you're ugly, poor. <laughs> yeah, literally. Dude, I, I fucking, yeah, people are insane, bro. <laughs> oh, man, I got a question for you. Okay. So now now we're smoking on that uh, that queen pack, right? Who do, you think is, who do you think is going on our $20 bill? What? It's not the queen. Queen's dead. Yeah. So who do you think should replace her on the $20 bill? Who do I think bill? should replace her yeah. or who I think is going to? I think... Who do you I, have think... A, I have an answer for both. Okay, well, yeah, let's answer both then. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with who I think is going to be there. Yeah. Like, who, like I think it's just gonna be the king. Okay. They're just gonna put the king because it would make more, the most sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, who should it be? Probably Hezbollah. If I would, if I would have put it on there, brother. Fuck! <laughs> what a <laughs> good fucking answer, <laughs> man. <laughs> It has to be right. Damn it! A little green is blue. You're just like here you go, man. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I would. No. Brother, yes. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. That's way better than my suggestion. <laughs> has Bula? God damn, damn man. it, man. <laughs> what were you, gonna say? dude? I. <laughs> I had it and I lost it. And <laughs> as you were explaining to me, I've I've been quickly trying to remember what it was, and I was I was spinning tires so badly. Yeah. But I'm so glad you said Hasbula because no, that's, that's be. way fucking. It would have to be Hasbula on a green twenty dollar bill. Oh, Damn man, the cleanest can you bill imagine? ever. I'm not gonna say can you imagine because I'm not really about this, but <laughs> going to the stripper um, <laughs> and you're just winging this. You're yucking twenties at these twenties. Just like here's a, a Hasbula on the house. <laughs> Fuck no, Hasbula. dude. Yeah, <laughs> Hasbula's face just on these these females. Yeah, I love that dude, man. Ah, I don't dude, know what has, it is about him. Dope, man. He's like thirty, eh? Like he's he's no, like a, he's our age. What? I thought he was like a like I thought he was like an actual grown. No, up. he's he's like twenty. I mean, don't. He's wow. like twenty two. What? I thought he was older than that. Nope, he is our age. Hasbula. Hasbula. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, he is. Oh, dude, he's exactly twenty years old. Oh shit, he he a kid. I didn't realize. Yeah, I thought he was like older. No, no he wasn't. He's not like Andy, Andy Milanakis. Milanakis, yeah, yeah. That kid's weird. That kid's adorable. He's like forty-eight. Andy Milanakis. Yes. No way. Or maybe forty. Yeah. Andy what? M- how are you not believing me on, on Hasbula? And then how are you not believing me on Andy Milanakis? Because Andy Milanakis looks like a 10-year-old. Yeah, because that's the issue, dude. But Hasbula He's just... 46 years old. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's so stupid. Why? Rather. So, uh, what do you mean? Would you not rather having jeans that keep you like young while you're growing up? 
Not that young, bro. He literally looks 10 years old. He does look like a kid, I know. <laughs> I'm just more peeved at the fact that you didn't believe me about Hasbula. Brother, I thought he was old. So you thought Hasbula was older than Andy Milanakis? No. Yes. Yeah. 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 You thought he was 30. You thought Andy Milanakis was how old? I'm probably just our age. Tough. Andy yeah. Milanakis has been around longer. Twi- almost than, twice. <laughs> almost twice as long almost as we've been alive. Almost twice. Actually, twice as long twi- as we've yeah. been alive. Twice. Twice point f- uh, two five. What? I don't think so. What do you mean? I don't think the point two five. Point two five. I don't think that's <laughs> that's not true. I don't six think. six of twenty is over. A, How just, old is he? He's forty six. Forty six. He's twice our age. Yes, but Hasbul is twenty. Oh. Twenty times two is forty. Okay. Times another two point five. All right, man. Or add another two point five of right, twenty man. on there. That's forty five. All, right. All right, man. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking my numbers all day. My bad, bro. That's my bad. <laughs> um, Listen, I know we just did a hundred steps up the stairs, but yeah, a hundred. Yeah, I don't know what the proper number was on that, but I, I'm pretty sure it was a hundred steps. I wouldn't even doubt it. I gotta count them again. When we do it again. Yep. yep. See you next calendar super, calendar year, brother. Super excited yeah. about that. Yeah, right, dude. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember who I thought was or who I would have suggested to go on the bill. Uh, no, it was something good, man. I was thinking like, I thought like Norm Macdonald in the first place, but I think he got canceled. So maybe not Norm Macdonald. Norm Macdonald's fucking. He's all, oh, he's also dead, so he can't go on there. Yeah, R.I.P. the goat. Damn it. He definitely got canceled. Yeah, did he? There's no way he didn't. The shit that he was saying. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> um, I mean, like any comedian back then, pretty yeah. much got canceled. He just didn't change. A lot of people started getting feelings, and then they would change how their act was. But yeah. He didn't. He yeah. just didn't give a fuck. Excuse but, me. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It it would have to be. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's gonna be the king. Yeah, I'm actually change. very interested to see how that goes. Yeah, I'm very I interested do, to see I don't how know the royal goes. Shit, I don't know. Like, I don't know how much you know about the royal family, but I don't. No. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, honestly, I, mean, I don't care. Yeah, I just think it's funny that she was alive for so long. Man. That was super long. Super long. She outlived Betty White a little <clears throat> bit. Did she? Yeah. Oh yeah, because Betty White didn't get to a wait. What did she? Didn't how old was Betty White? Ninety nine, wasn't she? Oh, she was. Oh, yeah, she almost hit the hundred bones. Oh, really? I think that was the thing. Everybody was pissed that she didn't hit a hundred. Oh, she didn't hit max level. Damn it! Really? Yeah, I think she was ninety nine. I might be high though. Um, didn't say her age. Oh, you're right. Yeah, she was ninety nine. Elderly man. She was older than the queen. Yeah. You know, it's really fucked to see. There was a there was a picture that was going around a while ago, and it was of Marilyn Monroe meeting the queen and they were like the same age yeah Marilyn Monroe what the fuck and the queen were like the same age so like if they if she was still alive today too she would be a fucking hundred years old whoa it's like what the fuck yeah that's crazy that, how, how long do you want to live brother have you thought about it yeah it probably dude a hundred would be cool but I feel like after 80 you're just kind of like Putzing around and yeah, not doing much. Although there is some motherfuckers who are just like still savages, and they're just 96. like yeah, they're just ninety and just kicking. And you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, but, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I think yeah, I think it, uh, past a certain age, you just start doing the same shit over and over and over again. Yeah, which is like, and fair. you just get slower at it. Yeah, which is like whatever. But <clears throat> I want to still be driving in ninety nine. Don't. Yeah, it's my biggest fucking pet peeve, bro. Was it elderly oh, people elderly, driving? Yeah, I, I, I definitely think that you, as soon as you start, hit a certain age, you should be doing a fucking like <clears throat> recert of your driver's license. I think you should do it like every fucking year, brother. Like, I don't ass. think every year, brother. No, I every year. Yes, past, past what age? Fucking sixty, bro. <laughs> like, no, please. man, brother. At sixty year olds can drive, dude. Okay, maybe like seventy five. No. Yeah, okay. But like, okay, dude, 75, that's fair. But, like, we got to hit, like, once, maybe semi-yearly. Because, yeah. like, we just, we need to get, make sure boys can see and shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I, I disagree with you, but I know that's that's exactly the point that I was trying to make. Yeah. Is at that age, we should be recertified. Uh, yeah, you, you definitely need to, I think you should. 
get a recertification. I thought but... you meant like starting now, just every year get a recert. No, like, fuck no, no, no. Once no. you hit like 75, bro. Yeah, once no. you hit 75, prove to me you can drive. Prove to me that you can fucking see. That's yeah, all I exactly. actually give a shit about. No, I want to see them on the road. <laughs> you want to see, see that... them on the road now? You want to see their three point turn? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah see? dude. Because I fucking every. Oh, <laughs> Let's go. Every single time I see an old person driving, yeah. and they're backing out of a stall parking lot, yeah. and say there's stalls on both sides, so they back out and they come over to the front of the vehicles or the rears of the vehicles behind them, mm-hmm. and they go and they stop halfway through because they think they're about to hit the vehicle. Really, they're still a half car length away. Yeah. So then they pull forward, but since they didn't go all the way back, they have to back up again and then do that again. So it's a 92-point turn yeah. when you're waiting to see. <clears throat> and this happens in Victoria all the time because there's so many parking lots that have no space. And so many old people. And so many old people. <laughs> so when you go, when you finally get like a random day off on a Tuesday, you're like, perfect. Yeah. We're just going to go run some errands and get some shit done. Yeah. Nope. Not today, It's going to take eight hours to do everything because we have old people. <laughs> Not today, bitch. Not today. Yeah. No, man. It's, um, it's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. I just want to see like an, like an elderly person just chuck the old arm over the, the seat. And they can't. Please. Like, you know what's going to happen? They just go bop and then done. That's it. And then it just clacks. But yeah. Oh, good. Harley boy's back. Harley boy. Shout out that guy. Fuck that guy. To, fuck that guy to death. That guy sucks, man. Yeah. You're ruining a recording. It's yeah. a very selfish thing. If you want to be on the podcast, please just tell us. Don't come on the podcast. <laughs> Dude, that guy pulls up every single day and he's got almost two full darts in his mouth. Every single time he rides, he lights up. Had a girl. Looks like if he had like, you ever watch Indiana Jones? Yeah. Uh, like the first Indiana Jones. Maybe. The guy drinks the Holy Grail, yeah. except it's the wrong Holy Grail. No. So then his body just disintegrates. Shit on. <laughs> Absolutely pissed on. Yeah, that's what I feel like. That that's gonna happen to that guy. Sure. <laughs> what a fucking crazy dude. One gust of wind, he's just gonna be like, <laughs> ew. Yeah. Oh, what else was I getting at there? Oh, I had like a sick transition. I don't have it anymore. Yeah, parking. I still have a $65 parking ticket that I have emailed and I've talked to the company. I emailed, I got the ticket after their machine was broken and didn't work, which, yeah, I guess that's a redundant thing to say. Hand in hand, brother. But I emailed them as soon as they gave me the ticket because I went up the machine. I used the machine, put my credit card in. It said authorizing payment. And then it just said that for like five minutes. So I was like, okay, I'm going to be late. I got to leave. Mm-hmm. Left, came back, parking ticket. Perfect. Two minutes after I left, <clears throat> got the parking ticket. They'll do that. $65. Mm-hmm. If you don't pay it within 10 days, it's $100. Like, what? Absolutely. It's a fuck parking yourself. space, <clears throat> dude? Yeah. No way. Man. Yeah. I'm not paying 100 bucks for a parking ticket. Yeah. So naturally i dispute it that minute send yeah. him an email i'm like hey your machine wasn't working i tried I, I actively tried paying the parking paying for a space still couldn't do it waited three days no response waited 10 days sent them an email on the ninth day and i'm like hey tomorrow's the fucking tomorrow's big day, the day. Shitheads. i'm not paying anymore just because you guys are taking forever oh and every single time you email they send an automated uh response thanks back. for thanks, thanks for, for emailing us yeah yeah we're sorry we got like a big big delay like, yeah we're, we're so many emails i'm like yeah it's because you're giving out 65 dollars parking tickets for machines nothing. that don't work dude yeah of course people are going to be messaging <clears throat> 21 days passed by nothing 28 days passed by and they're like hey Hey. We got your message. Please send us proof of payment, and we'll help you out with your ticket. I'm no like, shot, brother. My fucking first email <laughs> said I couldn't pay. Three days after, and it was like, because I couldn't pay. I couldn't pay. Your machine was broken. Machine. Yeah. I messaged that back to her. Guess what I get back? Thanks for emailing. Thanks for emailing. <laughs> it's been four shit. days since that. <clears throat> since that one. And they haven't gone back to me. Brutal. That's absolutely dog shit. For a parking space, man. Mm-hmm. Dude, I, uh, I heard this crazy story about somebody who, um, somebody that I know personally, got banned from parking at UVic. <laughs> no way. Yeah. She was, uh, she had, like, I don't know how, how many fucking tickets she had gotten beforehand, but a, a substantial amount because one day she came back to her car and it was double booted. 
and fucking like police taped around it. Like just absolutely go fuck yourself. And then, uh, yeah, she got an email. It was just like, you are not allowed to park on campus ever, which is good. And then, but then it was like, <clears throat> everybody was like pumped. Cause it was like, well, it's going to be online classes. So it's like, it doesn't really fucking matter. Yeah. And like, her specific thing was like moving to a different facility anyways. Yeah. So they were like, oh, perfect. Like, we'll just have a different parking lot anyways. <clears throat> and then uh, they find out like the the day semester starts that they're like, oh, we couldn't get um, the other place finishing time. <laughs> and it's in class and you got to be at oh. UVic. <clears throat> so shit. Man, she got banned from parking at UVic. Which is so fucking funny. Dude, get shit she on. pays so much for tuition. Oh, I guarantee it. Yeah. So much for tuition mm -hmm. doesn't cover fucking parking fees. That <laughs> yeah. is the thing that I will probably fight if I like if I ever go to court for small something small. It's over a parking ticket. A little small claims court. Yeah, yeah, I will fight for this. I'll I'll appoint a lawyer. I don't give a shit. I don't I don't like the fact that you have to pay so much money for parking. It's, it's dog shit. I when I was in first year college, my buddies and I we didn't pay parking at Camosun, and that one was a bit le more lenient. Sometimes the parking attendant just wouldn't show up so you could get away with it and we had a group of people that showed up at different times and, and like across different classes so they would like message us like hey by the way the parking guys here pay a ticket right away mm -hmm. <clears throat> and i think my two buddies i think they built up like 30 unpaid parking tickets Jesus. and one day we get outside and we walk up to my one friend's car well we all meet up before we leave and my one buddy's like holy shit they booted your car. <laughs> we walk up to this this guy's car. Yeah. And sure shit, it's booted right at the back. And he's like, oh, fuck. Yeah. What are we going to do? We're all kind of like, we're laughing at him because it's something we told him what was going to happen. Like mm -hmm. this, you know, when you don't pay parking tickets, like nothing bad, no, nothing good's going to happen. Nothing yeah. good is coming from it. So he looks at it and we're all laughing at him and he just goes silent. And he's like, these motherfuckers. They don't even know how to do their jobs. <laughs> no way. <clears throat> the boot was only put on the tire. Yeah. So he deflated his tire. Shut on. Took the boot off. Took the tire off or took the rim off the car. Yeah. Put the spare on. Drove away. Brother, get absolutely pissed on. Guess who got an email? Him. He got an email. Of course he did. Said, it appears you have stolen our boot. We don't quite know how. Yeah. But if you bring it back... Uh, please bring it back and play, pay a fee. And he's like, Hell no. I'm not bringing this back. I'm also not paying any of those parking tickets. In fact, if I bring this boot back... I better be fucking waived. All those parking tickets should be waived. Mm -hmm. they, they said, okay. Shit on. So he went to the office and he bought, brought the boot with him and just slammed it on the reception's <laughs> desk. Turned around and walked out. Hell yeah. Let him know, man. So then a week later... Or not even a week. It was probably like two or three days. Our other buddy, who still hadn't paid his parking tickets, even after seeing... That car get booted. We walk out. His car has two boots, chains through every single rim, caution tape around it. At least they learn. <laughs> At least they learn, man. <laughs> yeah. You got to do it sometimes. Huh? So as a good friend, I stayed for about 30 seconds. I said, see you. Deuces, pussy. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going home. Thank you, though. I want a nap. Yeah. I never had that issue, thankfully. I, I did find out what I, I went and paid a parking ticket a couple weeks ago. And I found out I had an unpaid parking ticket from like four years ago. Fuck yeah. I'm like, oh shit, 60 nice. bucks? Yeah, I'll clear that. Yeah. I'll clear that, but I'm not going to pay a base line of 65 bucks for a parking yeah. ticket. Yeah, that's mangled. I, I mean, I don't have like an extensive driving career, but um, I don't, I've never gotten anything like that. Yeah, you're doing, uh, you're doing good so far. Yeah. They send it to collections and screw you over. Yeah. Yeah, I never got... Uh, this one cop tried to give me a ticket, but I was just like, it was like a late night drive with me and a buddy, and we were just like shooting the shit, and it was like fucking midnight, nobody on the highway, and it was like a weird like, like a middle section where it was like 50 for like a chunk of the highway, but then it went back to 80. Right. Did you just go 80? And I was just doing like, I can't even remember what I was doing, but there was nobody a fucking around. Yeah. Like literally nobody, and then fucking... I, like, notice there's a car behind me, and I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. And then this cop just steps out in the middle of the highway, and I'm like, what? What are you doing? And then the fucking car pulls up beside me, and it's an undercover, and I'm like, for what purpose are we doing this at midnight on a weekday? What are we doing? 
I'm like, and then he's just like, ah, he's like, you're speeding, eh? And I was like, no shit. And what do you want me to do about it, right? We've we've already done this. I, did I hit anybody? No. Was there anybody here except for your dickhead friend? Yeah. No. So, what do you want to do about this? And then they just let me go. But I was like, it's so stupid. What are we doing? It's midnight. It's midnight. I'm not racing. I'm just I'm speeding me, a little it's bit. It's me and my buddy. My buddy had a terrible day. We were yeah. just talking about his day, bro. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that was the closest I've ever come to getting a ticket. That was That's, it. Oh, wait. You haven't gotten a ticket? Never gotten a ticket. Shh. But again, I don't. I, I didn't drive. That's that much. true. Yeah, Good. I've gotten a couple tickets. Yeah, I got. I've gotten two tickets. I got one ticket for going through a yellow. Yeah. Black. What yeah. a shit ticket, bro. <laughs> yeah. Not only that, but uh, I, the cop. The cop blackmailed me too. Fuck yeah. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. The cop. Which I didn't realize until the end, until I told someone. Yeah. Uh, the cop had me for my my license. My N wasn't on the car. Mm hmm And uh, yeah, the N wasn't on the car, and I I was over. I had an, an extra person in my car. Brutal. I except the N was on when I left, and it just like bumped off because it was inside my car, like inside my windshield. And she pulls me over. First of all, she's like in the same thing like she walks out on the road and pulls me aside and she's like do you understand why i pulled you over nah. no nah. no clue Not even Man, i have no that. idea yeah. she's like because he ran through a yellow and i just stared at her and like that's the entire concept of a fucking yellow light yeah it's to get people behind like far yeah be like, oh gotta slow down if i had two i had two trucks behind me who also went through the light yeah but i'm getting I'm getting a ticket. Yeah. If I stopped, they would have eaten Fucking me alive. Mom stirred me. Yeah. That's so then man. she takes me out of the car and she says, look, I'm, I'm going to only give you this ticket. If you fight me, if you fight this ticket, oh, I'm only going to give you the yellow light ticket. If you come and fight this ticket in court, in court I'm going to add those other two charges on you. <clears throat> so Jesus. being 17 years old and scared. scared as shit. I didn't do that. I yeah. told someone else after, and they're like, yeah, they're not actually legally allowed to put extra charges on after yeah. giving you the ticket. Brutal. So I found out cops can be not little, positive. A little deceiving. And then I got a ticket for, I let, I was sitting at this light, and I let go of the brake as soon as it was about to turn green, because I grew up on this street. I just moved back from Lake Couch, and was at this intersection. I knew how long the light took to change. Mm -hmm. Let go of the gas. Car starts moving. Light turns green. Call pulls me over. You ran through a red light. Good. Yeah. Good, man. In what fucking world did I do that? Good, man. What world? So then I looked at the ticket, started freaking out. I'm like, fuck. Because if you get two tickets like that, you you lose your end. You got to restart your end. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. And I was like six months away from getting my full license. So I like hum and haw, waited a couple of days, disputed the ticket, looked at the ticket on disputing it. Mm -hmm. She wrote the wrong day. Let's fucking go. She wrote Sunday whatever date. Yeah. But Sunday whatever date of whatever month it was, was like a March or something. Yeah. Was like three years ago. Fuck yeah. So you're like. So I brought her, showed her the ticket. I went, I went in and I talked to her and I'm like. Uh, cause you get it here in Canada. I don't know if you get the same thing everywhere else. You get the opportunity to go and talk to the cop prior to your, uh, d dispution. Is sure. that a word? Sure. You're, you're meeting to dispute your ticket yeah. and argue your case. And you get, you get a chance to talk with the, the police officer. So I walked in and I asked, I had a conversation with her and I was like, Hey, look, can I see, um, can I see video proof that I went through the the red light and she's like no i don't have video proof I'm like Good. so how do you have any like proof that i did this and she yeah. said the court is going to believe me over you fair uh, and as soon as she said that i was like okay have here's fun. your ticket yeah. with the wrong date yeah miss dipshit she looked at it she looked at her notes she's like you just rip that ticket up and get get out of my face i'm like wow really you're doing such a fucking yeah. You're doing such a service yeah. to to eighteen year old drivers. Fucking out of boy. Wasn't speeding. Wasn't racing. Wasn't just let go of the brake. Yeah. And just went into. 
Yeah. That being said, that that never that never like tainted my mind of police officers. Yeah. Very huge respect for police officers. We had a we had a pretty funny run in. I'm sure Pete will be fine with this, but we had a pretty funny run in with the cops or with one cop the other day. We were like coming out of the gym and we were like turning right onto Gorge from like fucking yeah. I don't even know whatever fucking road that is. Um, but we were turning right on the gorge and Peter's, Peter's tired for whatever reason. There's some, he could actually give you a real reason why, but I have no idea why, but they like, like kind of like screech a little bit when he, when he like turns sharply. Um, so he did that and then he's like pulling up and going over like the first bridge before like hecklers and shit. And, um, he just, he was downshifting. Yeah. And he, you obviously rev up when you downshift and his car is kind of. A little bit loud. A little bit loud. And he has like a little bit of like a little pop, pop, pop when he decelerates. On a decel, yeah. Um, so doing that. And then this cop, apparently him and, him and Peter locked eyes. And it was a little motorcycle cop. Locked eyes. Kid just whips a Yui. And he's pulling up behind us. Rips past us. And we're like fucking, we're still driving like 40 down the fucking thing. And he literally, the only words that were spoken from the cop was, how about we don't do that? <laughs> <laughs> and, and then Peter was like, I was down. Oh, okay. Sorry, man. I'm so sorry. And he yeah, couldn't even explain his Literally, case. yeah. He's like, how about we don't do that? And then he just rips back and keeps going. <laughs> it was so stupid. That's almost worse than getting the ticket. <laughs> Literally. Because the ticket, you have closure. You're like, yeah, you're like, ah, right, shit. This. Yeah. But this time, the guy's like, <laughs> like no, just, just don't. don't. <laughs> like, Even though in this case, Peter told me the story. Uh, Peter's completely. I, I, well, at least, I mean, from what I can tell, he's in the right. He didn't do that. The cop just hears the car. You hear, you hear a squeal yeah. over a fucking hill that you can't see over. Yeah. And then you hear a rev, like a rev yeah. to downshift. You think the dude's fucking racing. Yeah. Fine. That's fine. But. How about we don't How do we this? Don't. It was the best, most, out, and it was like such like a. He looked like such a dad. Yeah, like such just like. And On I was a like, bike yeah. too. Yeah, and I was just like, like yeah, and I was like, all right, man. And then he just literally whipped into the U and went back, and I was like, okay, dude, what the hell are you supposed to do when you're pulled over by a cop? I know. Say you got pulled over, the cops like, oh, you actually, there's a warrant out for your arrest. This is a joke that's been told a million times, but like, yeah. what? Get in the basket. Yeah. Like, Where yeah. do you go? Literally. Sorry, we're gonna put you under arrest. Like, yeah, get on the back, brother. Okay. The amount of the amount of handcuffs you have yeah. equate your wheels. Yeah, you dude. have that many wheels. You damn shit. What are you gonna do? You're gonna yeah. time in your fucking bike spoke. <laughs> yeah. Literally. No. Sit me on the imagine. back of your bike. Just like hands behind your back. Yeah, that's super safe. Super. Safe. You handcuffed me to your stomach. Like, yeah. What? Yeah. Exactly. What do you want me to do? <laughs> like, what? Yeah, the cop that doesn't get enough attention at home. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you're coming with me. <laughs> the clip, yeah. He's just like, no, I'm not. Yeah. 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 Actually, no. You, please sit you back. Please on come with me. Handcuffed yeah. around. He's like, how was your day? <laughs> please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Tough day at the office. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch, you arrested me. Yeah. It's a fucking terrible thing. That's, that reminds me of the fucking the TikToks where it's like the guy walks up and he's got like a, just a POV footage. Walks up to the guy at the gym. He's like, hey, man, I just want to like film um, like some some wholesome content at the gym just to show that people at the gym are, are more positive than people think. Yeah. And then he sets the camera up and it's just him and this other guy on the same. Like he's straddling the other guy yeah, and yeah. they're doing like a leg press or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just like it's got it's got like oh, <laughs> it's inspiring music in the background. Oh. And he's just like, so how was your day, man? Yeah, literally <laughs> they're lifting like 300 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> so mangled. Or <laughs> they're lying on each other doing bench. Yeah. <laughs> so shit, dude. So absolutely mangled. Yeah. Oh, and a huge wave of tiredness just hit me. Yeah. That'll happen. Big tired boy. Yeah. I'm definitely not going to do a workout before a podcast. Especially that soon. Yeah. Definitely not doing a workout. After, after, after this, I'm just being... Yeah. I'm going to have to, maybe a scoop and a half today, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to fight some demons. It's going to be a bad day to be a weight, I'll tell you that much. Bad day, I'm going to throw around some weight. Mm-hmm. So what are you doing this weekend? Oof. It's a good question. I mean, we got some plans. we got Thanksgiving. That's right. I don't have any plans. Yeah, other, other than... Thanksgiving. Shout out to anyone who's living in North Oklahoma. Yeah. Our Thanksgiving is actually this weekend. Yeah. Or... 
next weekend for when this drops. Last weekend. This weekend. La- last weekend. You're this good. weekend for us. Last weekend for the people listening at home. Yeah, just just like October eighth or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Or ninth or some shit like that. And then what? A month later, it's in the states. Something like that. Yeah. What game for? Probably the states. Considering Ketna is only one hundred and fifty six years old. Yeah. It's 156 years old. Do you need that off the rip? Yeah. Cool. Good thing to know. I think so. I think 156 was this year. Yeah, because 67. That's when Canada was... 1867. 1867. My so, dad's 100th, or my dad was born on the 100th anniversary, so... Oh, crazy. Not like on the day, but that, yeah. Like, that year. Yeah, that so. year was a... That's how I remember it. Year. He's 56 this year. Old man. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You're not the same age as my dad. Yeah. Oh, that's really weird, actually. Wait, 1966 when your dad was born? 1967. Oh, your dad's a year younger than my dad. Yeah. But I could probably beat your dad up. Probably. <laughs> my dad's way too nice with a guy, man. Dude, see with my dad, man. Yeah. No, no way. I've never seen my dad get aggressive. My dad's like, he's like me, though, where he's like almost like too nice that he wouldn't even wouldn't even hang out with new people. He'd be like, well, nice to see ya. Yeah. <laughs> and then just go home. Just hang out. Yeah, he'd just go home. He'd be like, well, that's it. Oh, they were nice. Yeah. Never <laughs> see him again. Never again. Yeah, he's a funny guy, man. He's a funny guy. Every time, you about the time that like I was driving, it's like one of the first couple like weeks that I had my car, and yeah. I was like driving into the parking lot at Tim Hortons with Peter in the car, and I was like, "Oh shit, it's my dad!" And I like rolled down my window and like honked at him a little bit. He's like, "Don't fucking honk at me, bitch!" And then just keeps driving. And I was like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "Dad, I love you. I'm sorry." This is so funny though. He's he is that kind of a funny guy though. This is that that comedy. <laughs> that was it too. I hadn't talked to him in like a month. <laughs> He's like, no fuck is no honk at me, bitch. Do you talk to him often? Nah, not that, no. not that often. But, yeah, yeah. But every once in a while. No, he's a he's a fucking he's a character. Every once in a while you just give him a little honk. Like, yeah. Beep, beep. Like, fucking honk he gets at pissed me. off. Dude. <laughs> yeah. I love that shit. <laughs> Fucking so quick me. too. Like I, it, it was like almost like he didn't know it was me. Yeah, that's he's, probably he's like, it. Fucking honk at me, bitch. But he's also not that confrontational. So yeah, I yeah. knew it wasn't like him just like doing that. So Don't fucking honk at me. <laughs> <laughs> so good. He's a legend. <laughs> that's so funny. See if you can get him on the pod. Yeah, right, dude. <laughs> Call him up. Yeah, he couldn't park in the back. His truck's too fucking big. What are you doing over there? I'm, my fucking back hurts, brother. This is just your seating. No, man. You have to be so fucked over there. No, man. I feel good. This just, is your house, too. I'm straight, I'm straight. This is my bed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Aiden sleeps in the studio, actually. In the stew. In That's the stew. That's how dedicated I am, man. Dedicated to the craft. Yeah. That's so funny. But, yeah. I think... I think we might be in the end. I might. I'm down for it. Get some sleepy girls. Oh, yeah, dude. I kind of I apologize to everyone listening. This one's kind of just like this is a filler episode. In might our, be a little bit of a filler episode. series. Yeah, that's fine. We've been we going hard on the paint pretty recently. Yeah, which is fine. Yeah, you guys are enjoying it. Yeah, I mean, no one's saying anything in the comments, so we don't know if <laughs> if it's good or bad. Yeah. By the way, give us a rating too. Yeah. Dude, Whoever the hit us, <laughs> dude. It hit us with five stars, man. <laughs> Your brother, just, what yeah. the hell is four point seven stars? It doesn't. It doesn't show on your fucking permanent record that you put a five star on something you didn't yeah, even you, like. Just, you, fucking, just, just do put, it, man. It five, helps brother. us. It Literally, helps us man. get better. Yeah. We don't get paid for this shit, man. So we're just like we're building from the ground up. Yeah. And one person comes out and they're like, mm, like four stars. Yeah. You're like, I'm what? A four star. Better be a fucking misclick and I'll find you, bitch. <laughs> Swear to God. Yeah, dude, we have all your personal information. <laughs> yeah, we know, know every mom. single person that rates. Yeah. So the 13 of you that did five stars. Yeah, clap it up for the boys, but. At 14th person? Oh, uh, there. Yeah. <laughs> we'll find you. Thanks for listening, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. Appreciate it. Appreciate you bringing out. Oh, man, I'm so pissed. I was editing the, uh, the episode and I kept the outro in, I think. From last episode. Oh, with fucking Quinn. Yeah. And uh, shout out Quinn, by the way. Oh, he dude. couldn't make it today. He, he's, fellas got some midterms because <clears throat> he's a, in school or something. What a fucking dork wizard. Dork wizard, yeah. 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 But uh, he's not here to receive the promotion, but I'm going to give it to him anyways. What's, oh? Well? Production assistant. Whoa. Or not assistant. He's just the producer. He's, Whoa. 
That's huge. I couldn't really, I couldn't, I couldn't live with him having an intern. It just yeah. felt weird. Yeah. It's like a weird power struggle. Weird. Not struggle, power um, yeah. dynamic. Yeah. I woke up one night and I was like, <laughs> sweating. Not like, happening. No, quit. No, I'm quit. sorry, man. No, he's part of the OG. Yeah. When we bring someone else on, we'll treat him like an intern. Yeah. By the way, we're hiring. <laughs> we're hiring. We're going to have a hiring fair. Yeah. We're having a job fair. The 99er Studios are going to have a. Uh, yeah, we got plans. We yeah. got a lot of plans in the works. Big, big plans upcoming. And speaking of which, Darren Day is playing in Victoria pretty quick here. October 21st. <laughs> I, we're going to have him on if he wants to come on. There's no way we're going to get him. He's Why, too, He's too big time for us. <laughs> he's too big time for us. I think we're on the level. I think we're on the same plane. You think we're on Darren Day level? Yes. Damn. Yes. That's crazy. Buddy. I think you'd be surprised the amount of moves we can pull with this thing. Yeah. I mean, there was that one fucking reel, so pretty big deal. Yeah, exactly. Okay, enough of blowing steam up our own asses. Thanks so much for <laughs> yeah. watching and Jesus. listening. Uh, I didn't fix the camera. That's, see, that's why we need Quinn, man. Quinn, Quinn come back. come back, man. Quinn. Please. Free my, free my dog, Quinn. Get my yeah, dog, dude, Quinn, out him. the pen. <laughs> Straight out the pen, man. Please. Damn it. So our camera went off, and I forgot. I heard the camera. I looked you dead in the eye. We you heard it, it too. We, thing, and we, just, kept we just kept going. And I never went and turned it back on. That'll happen. So I'm an idiot. It's it's a black out ugly episode. poor. Ugly poor. Dork wizard. Dork wizard. <laughs> yeah, shout out to the adventures of ugly poor and dork wizard. <laughs> yeah, man. Fuck them both. Fuck them both. Jesus. Fuck them all. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Yep. Hit them with the deuces. Fuck it. Deuces. deuces.